uh, I wanted to ask you another question that came in from uh, Melbourne, Australia, Aaron uh, Brilla. He, sa he said, Defense Secretary James Mattis this week described Iran as the greatest threat to the United States. My question, why does the U.S. insist on setting the potential grounds for war with Iran? That's been going on for years. Uh, right through the Obama years, Iran was regarded as the greatest threat to world peace. And that's repeated over and over. Uh, uh, all options are open, Obama's phrase, meaning if we want to use nuclear weapons, we can because of this terrible danger to peace. Actually, the, uh, uh, we have a, a, there's a few interesting comments that should be made about this. Uh, one is there also is something called world opinion. Uh, what does the world think is the greatest threat to world peace? Well, we know that from um, U.S.-run polls, Gallup polls. The United States, nobody even close, far ahead of any other threat. Pakistan, second, much lower. Uh, Iran, hardly mentioned. Uh, why is Iran regarded here as the greatest threat to world peace? Well, we have an authoritative answer to that from the intelligence community, uh, which provides uh, regular assessments to Congress on the global strategic situation. And a couple of years ago, uh, their report, of course, they always discuss Iran. And the reports are pretty consistent. They say uh, Iran has uh, very low military spending, even by the standards of the region, much lower than Saudi Arabia, Israel, others. Its uh, strategy is, uh, de is defensive. Uh, they, they want to deter attacks long enough for diplomacy to be uh, uh, entertained. Uh, the conclusion, intelligence conclusion, a couple of years ago is if they are developing nuclear weapons, which we don't know, but if they are, it would be part of their deterrent strategy. Now, why is the United States and Israel even more so concerned about a deterrent? Who's concerned about a deterrent? Those who want to use force. Those who want to be free to use force are deeply concerned about a potential deterrent. So yes, Iran is the greatest threat to world peace, might deter our use of force. Today is the 50th anniversary of Dr. King giving his Beyond Vietnam speech at Riverside Church, where he said the United States is the greatest purveyor of violence on earth. Your thoughts today as we wrap up and if um, in the last 30 seconds. Well, that speech by uh, King was very important. Also, other speeches he gave at the same time, which have, at the time, seriously harmed his reputation among liberal uh, Northerners. He uh, con con sharply condemned the war in Vietnam, which was the worst crime since the Second World War. Uh, the other thing he was doing was trying to create a poor people's movement, a, a, a non-racially separated poor people's movement. And we're going to do part two of this discussion and post it at democracynow.org. Our guest, Noam Chomsky, will be with him at the First Parish Church in Cambridge on April 24th, and then to Denver this weekend, as well as British Columbia. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Check the transcript and podcast at democracynow.org.